hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to see the project lighthouse for the poco x2 based on android version 12 so guys let's begin here is the android version 12 and the project here is the lighthouse and the version here is sailboat version the security patch level is the previous month one march 5th 2022 and the kernel here is as usual the red cliff kernel here the kernel hasn't changed now moving back this is the settings page and it's mostly just the same like the other android 12 room this is the home screen ui the launcher here also it's just the same the quick settings ui this is the android 12 l version but there are not much changes here from the android 12 and also the features here are missing i don't think it's the android 12 l version because there are so many android 12 l version features missing here in this room so in the system these are the options and in the gestures the quick tap option here is missing here and these are the, just the same options available the double tap here is available which works fine we get to see the system update the updater here is available but you will not be able to update because the android 12 all the rooms just get encrypted so no you will not be able to ota update the room moving back this is just the same the security the face unlock here is working fine but it's slow it's not that fast fingerprint scanner works perfectly fine no issues in that now moving back these are the options the wallpaper and styles here it's just the same android 12 room nothing here is new now let's just skip to the supplies here these are the customizations available the status bar options the tab on status bar the 4g instead of lte these are just the status bar options available nothing is new here in the notification these are the options the y button connect option here is available which is useful then the power menu the lock screen here is also just the same nothing is new and in the lock screen we get to see the u ud fps haptic feedback we don't get to see the under display fingerprint scanner so it will it's just useless option then in the buttons these are the options and we can skip music tracks by pressing the volume button now moving back in the themes these are the options the black theme and everything the icon pack you can we can set the custom icon pack for the quick settings this is the currently what how it looks the icon pack now moving back this uh, signal icon style the wi-fi icon style the icon shape these are the customizations available the theming options available in this room and which are enough back the talking about the battery backup the battery backup on this room here is good i must say i'll show you the usage here's the proper usage from 87 percent to 21 percent i got 2 hours 57 minutes of screen on time which is almost 3 hours which is just average battery backup and to charge from 25 percent to 87 percent it took 44 minutes so the charging time here is good okay now talking about the display options here are also just the same and we get to see the refresh rate option available here so yes that is it now moving to the home screen this is the ui and it's just the same now talking about the quick settings the quick settings is by default in the dark mode it just won't go in the white or anything it just stays in the same dark mode as it is and talking about the missing the android 12 features in the android 12 l we get to see the wallpapers here in these options but the here it is not available talking about the camera the default camera we get to see here is just this normal one nothing here is available only the camera and video and the google camera was inbuilt available but it was just not working so i just uninstalled that and installed another one this google camera 8.1 now talking about the safety net status the safety net status has passed and all the banking apps are working perfectly fine so no issues talking about the drm info we get to see the wide wine l1 security level and we get to see the HD playback working fine talking about the geekbench scores 
talking about the performance overall the performance for the day-to-day -day usage here it's good and we can easily use it as a daily driver there are no as such major bugs present here everything just works fine the camera everything the bug here is as you can see on the status bar i just don't like this one as you can see on the status bar i just don't like this status bar it just cuts it out but overall up here in the quick settings it shows it perfectly fine everything is good mobile data network everything here is good so talking about the call quality everything the calls here are just fine there is no issue with the calls everything just works fine speakers earpiece fingerprint scanner volume button this is the ui for the volume as you can see it just works fine no issues everything here is working fine but there is a bug present here and which i had faced it a lot this is what it happens whenever sometimes like when you try to unlock your phone it just completely at the back here it is unlocked but it will show you the lock screen and when you try to unlock it you will not be able to unlock it it will ask for password and when you enter the password it will just not unlock so this is a bug present here and we you will need to reboot your phone to unlock the phone so this is a bug only bug present here otherwise everything works fine yeah that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below on the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye